Hello everyone and welcome to Monkey Fish channel. In today's video I'm going to try to do some self-defense experiment and the scenario is that I walk out from the car and I see a guy with baseball bat and I know that he's going to hurt me. So I have a few choices, I can try to fight him, I can try to run away or come back to my car and then run away. And I know that many self-defense gurus like to say that you should come back to your car because then you can escape and this is kind of like a safety box. But for me if you never tried this before, then probably it's more like a trap. And this is what we're going to test today. Okay, so in these all scenarios, I'm going to try to always come back to my car. And we'll see if this is really a good thing to come back to this safety box or not. Let's go. So we just finished first round and this was not good <laughs> and I think my reaction was quite fast. I could see my attacker from far and I decided to run to my car and as I like to always say that attacker or bully are always more ready than you and this was how it was. <laughs> so I was thinking that I can we run fast to my car and close the door, but when I close the door, he already opened it from the second side and he started punching me from the top and this is really risky position for you because here he can punch you, he can kick you, he can use the stick and it's really not so good position for you. I tried to find the keys to uh, start the car, but I could not do it, I could not close the door, so I decided to go out and fight him. And this also didn't end up well for me because I get a lot of uh, hits with the bat and in the end I get a hit in my head. So this was end of the round because after that he would just finish me. So yeah, let's try one more time. So we finished the second round and it was quite similar like the first one. Again, I could not make it. I closed the door, but he opened it right away. And this time I didn't wait so long. I go out for my car earlier and I try to fight him back, but I don't know what's happened. I tripped, I fall down and then he started hitting me with the, with the baseball bat and this would be end of my story. And to be honest, I don't think this is easy to come back to your car when you are stressed. In all these tries, I did not close my door. And believe me or not, I do not walk with my car keys in my hands all the time with the, my finger on the button to open it or close. So in real life, then you have to run away, found the keys, found the button and open it. Then try to go in. So now I will try to run to my car and get in and close uh, the doors right after and see how fast I can do it. Actually it wasn't that, that bad I think, it was quite fast and it was my first time, I never tried this before. As you could see in my uh, experiment, every time I tried to do this I could not because my attacker grabbed the door from the other side and I could not do it. I changed my car now for this small one and in my old car this uh, button to close the door was on the handle here and uh, in this car I have a problem to find it because I never needed to use that before so I didn't know where it is so to do it <laughs> I was inside and just locked it so I could see where it is and I found it 
and it's here on this small handle but I just press it instead of pulling I have to just press it in so maybe it's a good idea to you know go to your car see it in it and look for the buttons try it yourself try to go fast in and close the door and stuff like this I think you should do it if this is your only strategy for this kind of situation so now be honest with yourself tell me how many times you try this before to run to your car fast sit in and close the door how many times because i never did it before so you have to make decision what is better for you maybe it's better just to run away instead of trying to go to your car or maybe if you have to run to your car maybe it's better to go behind your car no but you are somewhere here this will not save you but this can give you a time of course if it's more than one attacker this will not help you but if it's one guy then this can give you a few moments to think and prepare yourself to be more ready than a few seconds before so now let's try to do the same thing but this time i will close my car and i have a keys in my pocket so i walk in i see the guy okay oh shit 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 shit, shit. Oh, God. Oh. and i'm dead i don't know if you could see <laughs> but i stuck next to the door so probably he already get me and start hitting me and i hit the wrong button i tried to close my door again instead of open and that's why i said that maybe it would be a better idea to just run away or run behind your car so you know, this will not save you, but this can give you a little bit of time to make yourself more ready than you was before. And yeah, it's not easy. And I never tried this before, so probably this is why it's so bad. But if this is your only strategy, then you should train it. So I am not a self-defense guru or expert, but in my personal opinion, this strategy is really bad because I tried this a few times, all of them was failed. So pretty bad statistic, right? And if I have to advise you something, then I, I would say that you should run away or use your car as a wall or shield that you can run behind and get some time to prepare yourself to be more ready instead of going to your car and use this as a safety box because for me it was just a trap i just ran into the trap and then it was the end of my story so i have nothing more to say thank you for watching and see you next time